Hey, what's up? Hi, this is... We're back. Uh, um, yeah, we're start when ready. And yes. God, I keep part, forgetting. Part five. Part five. Part, anyway. yeah. Wow. Uh, Vampires and Rebirth. Which okay. is a really cool visual novel, and I'm super excited. Mm-hmm. You can tell that they work, like, so hard. And I love it so much. And Vinette basically just became a vampire. She just kind of came to terms, I guess. There's a lot of we weird growling. Yeah, a lot of really good growling sounds. Really good <laughs> voice acting. I think we're doing a good job. So, yeah. Uh, oh, God. That pain from before. This, this hunger. Does this mean I need to drink more blood? Ugh, just the thought of that makes me sick to my stomach. But I can feel the pain getting worse. I've never felt this starved before. Vinette, it's me, Lena! <laughs> what do you need? It's time you and I talked. What for? I'm coming in. Vinette. Vinette! Hmm! Fine, I'll talk anyway. We need to talk about you being a vampire now. There's a lot you need to learn in order to stay alive. And what if that's not what I want? Maybe I just don't care to live as a vampire. Maybe I'll just wait until morning and walk into the sun. I know you must feel that way right now, but don't tell me what I feel. Don't presume to know anything about me. I will never forgive you. I would rather die than be like you. I mean, why? Too bad. <laughs> For real. Like, death box. Like, <laughs> God, that's not fair. She should be like, I would, like, there should, she be, should like, be excited. A, yeah. I'm so pissed. Uh, I mean, why do you even bother living at all? Okay. That's, you're shaming. You're vampire shaming. <laughs> Uh, an eternity of not of wandering around in the dark, biting people to survive. No more food, no more daylight. Hell, what if I wanted a family someday? You think I can have one now? And you took all of that away. And for what? Tell me, for what? Answer me, damn it! All right, you want an honest answer, you. <laughs> Want the legit, real reason why I did what I did? Then I'll tell you. Although, I don't expect you to care about the real reasons why, since there are more of what they had to do with me than you. But only on one condition. What? I heard you talking earlier. You're reluctant to drink any blood, but you can still feel the hunger rising by the minute. If I try to force you to feed, it will only make things worse than they already are. Who cares if I go while while Who cares if I go a while without eating? I thought we couldn't die. That is a lot about being a vampire. People have no concepts of, and in none of it is something I can surmise in a single night. But I'll say this when vampires get too hungry, especially young vampires with little experience, things get bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly the way things happened earlier. What what are you saying exactly? Remember what I said earlier about losing control? And then how mad you were earlier that me? The same thing, but even worse. Can happen to you if you get too hungry. One of the takebacks of being a vampire. Your hunger will get so bad that you won't even think anymore. You'll be focused solely on killing anyone to get more blood! <laughs> how how do I know you're not just lying so I'll just do what you want you don't remember it vampires really do but when I first turned you into a vampire what you were literally screaming for the blood when I first healed you when Melissa saw you in that state it terrified her she gave you some of her blood so you'd regain your senses but had I not been there you would have drained her dry. You really aren't lying, are you? If you get too hungry again, it's only a question of when it will happen again. Not if. Do you see now why you can't starve yourself? 
why I can't force this on you. And you need to see the importance of yourself, if that's the deal. If you agree to feed tonight, I'll teach you the reasons for why I did what I did, all of it. But, but how do I know that I can trust you? Who's to say you won't just tell me what I'll expect rather than the truth? Or that you won't some use some weird power to get me to forget about this deal, huh? How can I trust you? Because I'm hoping you at least trust Melissa. What? What does she have to do with- Melissa didn't want you to be a vampire, Vinet. She knew you would object and kept questioning me of her any possible alternative. You weren't conscious for me to ask, so instead I asked Melissa's permission to make you a vampire. If she objected, I would have obliged, but even so. Before agreeing, she made me promise, swear, really, that I would always look after you and take care of you. And if I didn't, she swore that no matter how long it took, she'll find me and kill me herself. Did she do that? Yeah. Oh. Well, I admit, I doubt her resourcefulness. I could hear the sincerity in her words. I don't doubt she'd commit that, to that promise, even if it took the rest of her life. Melissa... If I was that dishonest, I would have done what I did, regardless of what she said. So if you don't trust me, please trust her. Fine. Fine, I'll do it. But afterwards, you just tell me everything, okay? Yes, perfectly. Alright then. So just how am I supposed to go out about getting blood anyway? We gonna just go hunting in the night or something? No. It's a little too soon for that. First, you need to learn how to feed without taking too much blood. Um, feed? Drink, bite, whatever you want to call it. As long as I, as you can tell, we experience more of a hunger than a thirst. Which is why some vampires say feed. Anyway, first, I have to teach you how to properly take blood. One step at a time, okay? Alright, fine. Melissa, could you come in here, please? She's still here? What's going on? It's time. Vinet needs some of your blood. So whenever you're ready. <sighs> yeah, I remember. Vinet, are you feeling any better? I'd, I'd rather not talk about it right now. Oh, okay. Melissa, stand here next to Vinet, please. Well, now what? You need to take her wrist and bite into it as gently as you can. Your fangs are sharp, so a puncture and won't be hard. Yeah, but how am I supposed to summon them? Just focus on your teeth while fl flexing your gums, and they'll naturally extend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Focus, Vinette. Pay attention to your breathing and relax. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what was that? I almost lost it. It's still your first time actively using your fangs. They bring out emotions you're not used to yet. Are you sure Vinette's going to be okay? Yes, I'm sure. Now both of you, take a deep breath. It won't be perfect, but it will force your body to relax a little. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good. Now, Vinette, take her wrist. Oh, okay. Once you bite her wrist, turn it down so the blood will naturally flow to your mouth. Then immediately retract your fangs, but keep your mouth on her wrist to drink the blood. And this is very important. Take no more than three swallows of blood, then stop. Human blood is going to taste unlike anything you've ever had, and you'll want to keep drinking. To stop yourself, try thinking of something grotesque. If that fails, bite your tongue or stab it in your fangs. The jolt of pain will help you stay in control of yourself. Got it? I think so. Say it all back to me. I need to make sure you've gotten everything. R right. First, I bite the wrist, but make sure it's upside down so the blood will fall. And then I have to remove my fangs from her wrist. Um, uh, uh, then I take three swallows of blood and from there I have to stop drinking. To help, I can think of something gross or stab my tongue with my fangs. 
Excellent, that's everything. Now, Melissa, I need you to trust me, Netanan. She's going to do her best to keep in control, but you must remember what I said earlier, right? Yeah, I remember. You'll take care of it. Exactly. Okay, Vinette, go ahead. Right. <sighs> <laughs> That's it. Steady now. Almost. Stop! <sighs> oh, God. Melissa, stand behind me! How do I retract these damn things? I did it once earlier, but I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> Focus on the muscles around your fangs and tense them up. Then push them as best as you can. <sighs> I did it. There, I knew you could do it. Hey, why am I still bleeding? Oh crap, is that bad? Not really. That's still noticeable. That's the last step in fe- Oh, hold on. <laughs> That's the last step in feeding. Vinette, you have to lick the wound so it will heal itself. That's it? That's it. Okay. Here, Melissa. There. Oh my god. It's healing in seconds. I thought you had experience with this, Melissa. Just once. I know the bite mark is supposed to heal somehow, but I never saw it in action before. You're telling me... How... Oh, you're telling me. How can the body heal so fast? One of the many mysteries surrounding vampires, Vinit. I can explain why it works, only how to use it. But now that you've fed, how do you feel? A little better, actually. The hunger is still there, but not nearly as bad as before. Thanks, Melissa. You're... you're welcome, Vinette. You'll still need a bit more practice, though. No one ever masters this right away. But for your first try, you did well. Not so fast. I did what you asked. Now it's time for you to start giving me some answers. I'd like a better explanation, too. It's too soon for that. My reasons aren't exactly a two-minute chat, and you still need more blood to last the night. Just how much do I need, exactly, anyway? I'd say about two more people. And then I get some answers. We had a deal after that. After all. So how are you going to get her more blood? I doubt you'll find more volunteers. That's where you're wrong. You forget about blood loss. There's always someone there waiting to give blood. Ugh, that place again? I know, I know. But it beats finding some random stranger on the street. And besides, you'll need to learn how to seduce people. Yeah! <laughs> for their blood and not just hand for it. Don't start making long-term plans for me. Vinette. No, it's okay, Melissa. Vinette, right. One thing at a time for now. But... Melissa! Just so, make sure nothing happens. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> I will, and Vinette. Before we leave, there's a few more things I should tell you in private. Hey, what's so important that I can't know about it? It's a vampire-related things, the kind of things humans, even the ones like you in the know, should remain unaware of. I'm not just some human. I'm her friend. I understand that, but it's better that you just don't know for your own sake. Melissa... Just go. What? But, Vinette! The less time we spend arguing with her, the sooner we'll get to the part where she tells me what I want, so just go. I... Okay, if that's what you want. Lena, don't leave without telling me first. Alright. So, what's the big vampire secret? In all honesty, there will be some later, but I wanted to talk about Melissa. What for? Please don't be mad at her, Vinette. This was my fault, not hers. That's much easier said than done. Do you think that's going... Do you think going to shit... Oh, God. <laughs> that, that shit show of a club <laughs>
Okay. And you, walking away from, walking away from you should have been the right call. I can't. Oh my god. Right call. But despite that, you chased after me and ruined my life. So who else should I blame, if not the two of you? <sighs> it pisses me off to admit, but I know deep down, Melissa didn't want things to go this way. I won't stay mad at her forever. But that doesn't mean I can forgive you. I mean, why are you acting so inconsiderate? Where the hell was all that when it mattered? Because I screwed up, Vinet. I didn't have the chance to be as well taught as I should have been in being a vampire. Concerned, compared to others, I'm still really young and I make mistakes along the way. And add to that, I'm a, well, let's just say I'm a different kind of vampire. The kind that doesn't make this life easy at first. I'm sensing a bigger picture than you're not telling me. I will, later. She's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't read the la the last part. Something the vampires. <sighs> Melissa does care about you, Vinette. I may not know how much about her, but of that I can be certain. If there is one thing I can tell you that you can trust is no lie, is that you should be you should appreciate someone like her. Even when you stop being mad at her, I worry that she'll never forgive herself. I can see it in her. She's bottling up her feelings to help you, feeling that she needs to be strong. But I don't think even she realizes the true depths of her emotions yet. Her animosity towards me, her self-loathing, her grief. What are you trying to say? Unlike you, Melissa's holding almost everything in. She's hurting far more than she might ever let you know. But despite all of that, you're still her top priority. Uh, okay. She right. doesn't have, like, family or friends or nothing. Just, <laughs> just, just Vinette. That's it. <laughs> Shut up, she's our protagonist. She needs you. Like, I'm sure you need her. If anything else, I wanted you to be aware of what a good friend you have. How... How the hell can you know about all this of her? You only just met. Tonality, body language. I'm not a psychologist, but vampires do a lot of people watching in their time. You learn to pick up certain cues over the years if you pay attention. And even I can tell these things about Melissa. You're sure of this. Believe me, I am sure. Wow. I had no idea. What, that your friend is a good person? Yeah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like... What if they just met? Like, maybe it's been a week and she's like, Hey, you wanna go to this new club with me? And she's like, all of this going on. Right? Oh my god. But, but, how long can that last? I mean, sooner or later she'll get old and I'll still be this? What then? That's... Turn her! Yeah! Turn everyone! Daybreakers <laughs> for life! That's often the reason vampires don't get too close to humans and why we mostly stay alone. Aside from not wanting to involve them in any potential danger, we know the relationship won't last forever. And letting go. These vampires are very responsible. Right? I would just be like, turn everyone. Yeah, right? Like, just every hot person ever. Just make a whole, like, orgy. <laughs> Blood orgy! <laughs> it's never easy. Unless I make them like me, you mean. Yeah! And in that, you've discovered the most common reason for making a vampire. Loneliness. Are you serious? Like I said earlier, the world of vampires can't be surmised in a single night. Suffice it to say, most of us are either strangers or enemies to each other. When we do make friends, it's easier to do so with humans. But there's only so many ways such a relationship can go. And too many times it ends badly, at least from what I've seen. Wait, why can't vampires be friends with each other? Because they're like predators, so like predators can't hunt together. Like, uh, uh I, get. I have no idea. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess like, I, I mean like, it's difficult because like if you live forever, then like, if you make a friend, then like, and then you betray them, then like, what, you know, it's gonna be like a forever. But there thing. aren't like two vampires in the entire world. Yeah, I have no idea. It's like, 
Out of desperation, you'll find a friend. That's how like, I, I met like you. I it's easier to make friends with vampires <laughs> if you're a vampire. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Because, like, why would you be making friends with the people you're literally, like, like feeding eating. off of? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Story. Uh, you're saying that that's what going, you're saying that's what's going to happen with Melissa and I? Either make her a vampire or leave her forever? Leave my, my best friend? God, now that I think about it, I don't, I don't think I ever even told her that. Now it's too late. What? Why is wow. it too late? How can we ever remain friends now? It's, it's like being with a pet. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Yikes. Sure, it's fun in the beginning, but now, you know, but you know, sooner or later, you're going to outlive them and watch them die. I, I can't do that. Turn her. Turn her. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know. But it doesn't have to end badly, as hard as that may be, that might be to believe. What? I know how e easy it is to focus on the end. Because we feel so helpless against it. But with that kind of logic, there's no point in living, since we all die one day. And I'm sure you'll agree that that's an insane way to look at things. I have no idea what lies beyond the grave. All I know is what's it here, right now. I refuse to believe life exists just to see us suffer. We have free will. We're in control of what we do, and we will feel just about anything. I don't promise it's easy, but these relationships don't have to end badly. Just like life doesn't have to. But how? Just how are we supposed to do that? We stay honest with ourselves. You can't fix what you don't know. How can we control our lives if we don't admit our faults and desires? I believe that path, the one of self-honesty, is what leads us to fulfillment. What kind of, like, BS is that? I know. <laughs> Lena is too nice to be a vampire. I agree. Life. I think we should just turn everybody yeah. and make it a vampire utopia. That's all I want. <laughs> no, and then it's like, okay, you leave some to be like the blood bags, right? Yeah. So it's like you turn half the <laughs> you turn half of the hot population plus me, and plus then <laughs> <laughs> and then you like leave the rest. Like each each vampire has their own like. Like, little human blood sack. Yeah. Okay. Life can be easy. We just complicate it sometimes. I feel like that's morally squicky, but whatever. Wait, what? The whole vamp- what, human blood sack? Like, that's probably morally wrong. If what you think you about it, ignorance tends to be the root of many life problems. <laughs> Answering the questions of why I'm here, who am I, and what is my purpose? I I guess that makes sense. I wish there was a roadmap for those kind of things, but the price of freedom is your life doesn't have to be a predetermined path. We create it and change it every day. But what about Melissa? As long as you two trust each other, and we won't know, because that's the end of the episode. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah, I was waiting for the scene to end, but I don't know. Um... Thank you for watching. This has been episode five. Yes. yes. Okay, wow. Uh, next episode, we get to feed. We get to uh, go to the blood place again. And yeah, thanks for watching.